If you want to become a better player, this video is very important. I'm going to teach you how to plan your own soccer training sessions. If you're looking for training drills and skills, go to my channel. There's tons of videos on that. This video is not about specific drills. This is about how to plan your own training session because I want you to understand drills, fancy skills. Those are fantastic. They're fun to do. But if you want to become a better player, you want to improve faster, you want to achieve more in this sport, it's so much more than just the drills that you choose. It's about being mentally tough. It's about your lifestyle, your habits. It's about learning to be your own best coach, your own best trainer. You can't rely on other people to make you better. You have to make yourself better. So today I want to talk about how to plan your own training session. These are the components that I include in my training sessions, whether I'm training by myself or training a group of players. These are things I like to improve because I want to improve every part of my game when I step on the field. I want to become a better athlete and I want to become a better technician, a better technical player every time I step on the field. So number one, warm up. Take your warm up seriously. I know when you're younger, it's so easy to just go on the field and start blasting balls. Your warm up is going to help you have a better session. You prepare yourself physically, you prepare yourself mentally when you go through a proper warm up. You're also prolonging your career. If you want to play at the top level or the highest level that you're capable of playing at, for a long period of time, you need to take care of your body and that's the importance of the warm up. So here I wrote longevity. For me, I wanna play at the top league till I, I can't play anymore, till they say, hey, you're too old, you're not allowed to play in this league. I wanna run past the young Hey, what's up? I hope you're finding this content helpful. Watch this all the way to the end if you wanna find out which subscriber got this video's special shout out. So I'm focused on taking care of my body. When I'm doing the warm-up, I'm not just going through the exercises just to do them. I'm doing everything. Don't just do these things just to do them. Don't just do them to get tired. Do them with a purpose. And that's what I put here in the red. There's an actual purpose to doing these. The purpose of my warm-up, yes, is to prolong my career. It's to warm up for the session, but it's to improve my mobility. So I need to become more mobile every session. That means my, my ability, my range of motion, my joints, my movement, it gets better, it doesn't get worse. How come when you get older, you just get worse and worse, we get shriveled up? You don't have to deplete, your body doesn't have to dissolve at that rate. You can stay very healthy, you can stay very mobile if you actually focus on this. So when I'm doing my warm up, I'm focusing on actually getting a better, better range of motion, improving my mobility. Next, after I'm warmed up, before I get into the technical stuff, I wanna do the hard stuff, the hard physical stuff, that I don't necessarily enjoy doing as much. But if you can change your mentality towards these things, the physical stuff, the sprints, the footwork, the agility dr drills, the speed ladder, the stamina stuff, change your mentality. You want to do those things. Why do you want to do them? Because they make you better. They make you stand out over other players. So when you're training by yourself, motivate yourself, say, hey, there's a reward at the end of this. I like doing this stuff because it makes me different than everyone else. It makes me a better version of myself. And that feels good when you start to see the results, when you start to see yourself actually moving faster on the field, running longer than everyone else. That's motivating. So hold on to those feelings, put it back into your training, self-motivate yourself. When you're with your teammates in a practice and your coach says, hey, do 20 push-ups, or you guys have to do two laps or do 10 sprints, and everyone else says, oh, I don't wanna do that. You step up and you say, I want to do that. Yes, I can't wait to do that and I'm gonna do it well because it's gonna make me a better player. So after I've done a proper warm up, I wanna do the hard stuff first. I'm doing agility stuff. So whether that's uh, fast footwork stuff on the spot or going through a speed ladder, actually focusing on getting faster feet. So when I'm doing the drills, again, I'm not just doing the drills to complete the drills. I'm doing the drills with the purpose of making my feet move faster every single time. Be a little bit faster, a little bit sharper. After agility, I would go into speed, and my speed may just be very basic. It may just be doing six sprints, or five 20 yard sprints, five 50 yard sprints, and that would be it, something like that. In between walking back, taking as long as I need, but when it's time to do the exercise, again, I'm focused on having faster acceleration. Those first three, four steps, making those faster every single time, focusing on the technique of sprinting. How can I get faster every single time? Not just doing it to get tired, not just doing it because I wrote down, I'm gonna do five reps. No, every rep has to be worth it. It has to make me better. Otherwise, there's no point in doing it. After I did the agility and speed physical stuff, then I would go into the technical 
the technical training. And you may have seen in a video that I released recently about soccer drills that I personally do. I like to incorporate all of the technical skills, dribbling, footwork, uh, ball control, all these things into my shooting drills. Because for me, shooting is the most important. I need to be ball striking. Playing long passes, if you have the ability to pass with a teammate, playing long driven passes, that's really important for me as well. And just practicing shooting in different scenarios. I feel that I, my technical skill, my footwork, it's good, I'm comfortable with that. Yes, I'm still working to improve it, but the main focus for me is always filling that net as many times as I can, scoring as many goals every time I get on the field and improving my ball striking. Because I feel like I'm very confident if someone passes me the ball, I can receive it and control it 99% of the time. But when I have a chance to score, I'm not exactly where I wanna be. So I'm really focusing on that. And that's something you have to analyze about yourself. What are my weaknesses? What do I really need to improve? But I promise you, if you add shooting, really make shooting an emphasis of every individual training session that you do, you're gonna be a better player, you're gonna feel more confident, you're gonna be more dynamic, a better attacker, and it's gonna make a big difference. So for me, I'm really focusing on ball striking, long passing, and shooting, incorporating quick footwork, 1v1 skill, and then a shot ball control and then a shot always finishing with an end product on goal and also a crossing and finishing providing service giving good through balls giving good crosses that's something that i would work on if i had a teammates if i was doing individual train session usually just end with uh, shooting then at the end i would do some stamina so i don't want you to think that you need to do a beep test at the end of every session if you're doing this properly with intensity taking rest when you need rest, but when it's time to work, you're working, you're putting in the work, you're gonna get the stamina from all this other stuff. So you don't necessarily have to focus on that. You don't have to do a beep test at the end of the, your practice. You don't have to do 20 laps. Maybe you just wanna do a few sprints or like a few full fields there and back, getting yourself to a point where you feel uncomfortable and pushing a little bit past it. But I don't want you to burn yourself out because, <clears throat> excuse me, training is extremely important. I need to get better every day but I can't just come to the training field and beat myself up every time. If every day I'm a little more sore, I'm a little more tired, I'm a little more fatigued, I'm a little more mentally drained, I'm not gonna be able to continue at this rate. I have to train in a way that's very smart. So I wanna do stamina, but I need to listen to my body and I need to say, is that enough? Can I come back tomorrow? And the way that you're really gonna come back tomorrow is these two right here, the warm up and the cool down, okay? Actually focusing on repairing your body, improving your flexibility, improving your mobility, taking care of your joints, taking care of your muscles. If you do those things and you do them properly, as well as proper nutrition, hydration, getting good sleep, then you can actually come back. You can have a hard training session. You can come back the next day and feel better, not worse. And that should be your goal when setting individual training sessions for yourself. So those are six components that I put into my training sessions and I would encourage you to do the same. This is the featured subscriber for this video. If you'd like to be featured in future videos, hit that like button, drop a comment below, and let me know how my videos have helped you improve and achieve more in this sport.